The best golfers in the world understand how to clear their hips in the golf swing, but that's a really difficult move for a lot of amateur golfers. But you've come to the right place, because today we're talking about how to clear your hips in the golf swing and some simple tips and drills that you can do to improve it. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Colt, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And the hips are a big topic right now in the golf swing and in the golf industry. And man, if you can move those hips correctly, you can hit some quality golf shots and definitely pick up some club head speed. Now, hey, if you're, if you're a golfer and you love working on your game, this is the place for you because we are putting out great content every week so be sure to subscribe to our channel and also be sure to ring the bell because when that content comes out you want to know about it because it's going to help you play better golf so we're going to dive right into this how do i clear the hips in the golf swing why is it important or why and why is it difficult and what are some ways that i can go about actually improving it so first of all what i want to define what clearing the hips in the golf swing means what that means is that your hips are open to the target at impact so from down the line here, I'm just going to go ahead and, and create a little bit of a visual for you. So when I'm set up, my hips right now are square to the target. Clearing the hips means that my hips rotate and open up as a right-handed golfer, meaning my hips are pointed to the left of the target, okay, at the moment of impact or wherever the club is at that particular moment. So clearing the hips is about getting them out of the way, opening them up, and turning them okay early in the golf swing now one of the reasons this is important is because I think it helps with contact but also it's a huge speed generator one of the things that a lot of golfers do not understand is that rotation creates speed so when my hips rotate quick and, and when they rotate correctly that allows me to create some more club head speed so that's what we mean in first in terms of defining what clearing the hips is now in terms of like why is it important well, I touched on that a little bit already. It's important because it's a speed generator. It helps you hit the golf ball further. And if you look at some of the longest drivers in the game, they got really fast hips, okay? They can really rotate those hips open. So that's where it's really important is because it's a speed generator. And I also think that it does a lot of other things that allow you to get the club dropped to the inside and some other stuff that is a little bit beyond what we're talking about here today. Now, why is it difficult? All right, so if you're watching this video, you're like, okay, I understand what it is. I see that, it's, that it can help me, but why is it so difficult? What's well, difficult, one, is because it, it's a speed generator. It's just a dynamic movement. It's like jumping. Some people can jump higher than others. I can't dunk a basketball. Some people can dunk a basketball, all right? So part of it is genetic, but part of it is tightness in the body. Hip flexors, lower back, just the body in general. When your body gets tight as we age, in order to rotate and open up, you've got to have flexibility. So if we get it set in here, all right, and I take this back, and I start opening these hips up, I better have some flexibility in my hips, in my lower back, and just throughout my body in general, in order to get those hips opened up. So let's talk about some ways that we can actually improve that, all right? So how can you do that? So the first thing I want to tell you is I want to give you a couple just general tips that don't require a lot of practice. And the first one is, and then we're going to talk about some drills that you can do in the driving range. But the first one is taking your lead foot and just pointing it out slightly. All right, so if I'm sitting here at the camera, okay, and I'm set it, and I take my lead foot and I just point it straight ahead, if I rotate it and open it up maybe 30, 35, maybe even 45 degrees, what that does is that's going to allow me to open up this hip, okay, and allow me to get quicker with the hips and get them opening up during the golf swing. So that's a simple tip. When you're set up there, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this actually. If I set up here and my left foot, lead foot is pointed in and I make a swing, okay, I can't even get my hips rotated open because my lead foot is locking me down. But if I get set in here and I take that lead foot and I point it, okay, now I can get those hips opening up and I can be a lot faster. So the next thing we can do in this setup to help us get, you know, opening those hips up in the downswing is simply actually opening your stance up a little bit, right? So if I'm set in here, I'm going to do the opposite, right? If I take my stance and I close it, okay, now in order to get my hips open to my target line, I've got to really rotate them a lot. But if I stand up here and I get my hips a little bit open to begin with, maybe, I don't know, 10 degrees, something like that, now I've already preset myself to open up a little bit. So taking the lead foot, pointing it a little bit, 
taking your lead foot and pulling it back a little bit, those two things can really help you rotate your hips and help you open up. Now, that's some things you can do in the setup. What about some drills? What are some drills? Those of you who like to go to the driving range, what are some drills you can do? Well, I've got a couple things here I want to show you. The first one is just a simple alignment rod. Most of you have these, right? It's just an alignment rod. Okay. Um, you can just take it. I'm just going to hold it along my belt right here. You can actually put it through your, your belt, uh, the loops on your, on your pants if you want, or your shorts or whatever, but I'm just going to hold it here for this demonstration. And as I rotate, I can just practice getting this part of the alignment rod to the ball. So if I do that, now I'm helping my body understand what it's like to open up my hips. Okay, if I work this way, not opening up my hips, notice this part doesn't get out to where the ball's at. So this drill is take it here, boom, rotate up. Now, I've actually seen you know, people take this, put it through their belt loops, maybe even a little bit shorter one, and almost, I'd be careful about hitting balls, just make sure you don't actually hit this with your arm or your hand, we don't want you to get injured, but simple drill, right here, boom. Get this part right there to the ball. So that's the first thing you can do. Another drill you can do, this is a, a new training aid. I use this a lot for a variety of different things. It's swing arc, it's by the perfect putter. It's pretty cool. You'll notice now, this one here is actually curved and art, right? So it's a great visual. So if we set up here, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna move the ball back a little bit so I got some room, and I'm gonna point this, notice how I've got that positioned in there, and because it's got some arc, it's a great visual when I'm set in here. I got the ball positioned kind of on the back side of it right here. And it's a really good visual for me when I come down. I want my hips to work on the same angle as the swing arc there, right? Okay, you can hopefully see that. So I get set in. I'm just gonna get my hips turning along that arc. And that's a wonderful visual to help me do that. So getting the hips open, clearing the hips in the golf swing, it creates club head speed, it improves contact, it can be difficult if you lack flexibility, but we got some tips on how to do that. We got some great drills. Get those hips open up at impact, get the club head speed, improve your contact, and these drills and these tips are gonna help you do exactly that.